This could be us. So back to what I was saying. This could be us. In this video, we are going to talk about Why do people move in their sleep? So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for the future updates. During the night, short awakenings from sleep frequently cause tossing and turning. Did you know that many people experience frequent twitches while they sleep? Periodic limb movements, or PLMs, are the term used to describe these uncontrollable twitches. PLMs are measured during sleep studies by attaching electrodes to a participant's arms and legs. The cerebral EEG signals temporarily switch from the slow, high amplitude activity of sleep to the fast, low amplitude activity of the waking individual prior to each repositioning movement, but only until the person changes positions and goes back to sleep. Most people do not remember moving during the night, unless their wakefulness lasts longer than a few seconds due to sleep inertia which prevents most people from remembering what occurs in the final few minutes of consciousness before sleep. Under typical circumstances, folks won't toss and turn once they're asleep again. Only when REM sleep is present does the paralysis of sleep take place. An average of every 90 minutes, REM sleep lasts for 15 to 20 minutes. But this can vary widely depending on the time of night and gets longer as morning draws near. Similar to when a person is awake. The motor cortex fires off a torrent of motor commands to the spinal cord during REM sleep. However, despite descending commands to move, a group of neighborhood inhibitory interneurons that contain the amino acid glycine actively inhibit motor neurons in the spinal cord during REM, stopping us from carrying out our dreams and momentarily and irreversibly crippling us as a result. As carbon dioxide, Colorado 2, signals accumulate in the circulation and are detected by the brainstem during sleep apnea. There are many more brief awakenings that are necessary to regain enough muscular tone to open the airway and breathe again. Although they are frequently accompanied by violent jerks, sleep apnea patients can experience hundreds of these brief micro-arousals per night and not recall any of them. What it means to move around in your sleep. Stacy Stevenson, DCCNS. A chiropractor and expert in functional medicine claims that moving while you sleep is completely natural. She points out that the typical sleeper actually shifts around 40 to 50 times each night. She continues, under normal conditions. We're naturally more active during stage 1 or light sleep, as well as REM sleep, than we are in other sleep phases. When we're sleep deprived, we may move less. However, certain movements may indicate a problem. According to Stevenson, certain types of sleep movements such restless leg syndrome and periodic limb movement disorder are associated with stress, depression, lifestyle choices, like drinking too much coffee, and even specific medical disorders like ADHD, PTSD, and recurrent nightmares. Stevenson tells MBG that although we know that certain sleep problems, if not the movements themselves, are connected with lower quality sleep, if you feel rested during the day, you probably don't have a problem. Now, that is an indicator you might not be getting enough sleep or that your sleep quality is worsening. She continues, if you find yourself dozing off in the middle of the day or feel like you could always use a nap. In short, there might be a relationship, and it might be time to do something about it. If you have regular weariness, tossing and turning, or restless limbs. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.